Hey guys, Disabroso669 here, and today I'm making a top 5 possible villains that could be able to enter Light Justice. Now mind you, if you have not seen the other videos for Light Justice before this top 5, I would advise you to do so before it makes sense to you. Now, may I just mention that I am sorry I didn't make videos, I was quite busy for the last, let's say, 2 weeks. And um, now I'm actually able to make YouTube videos again, like this one for you guys. And I thought making a top 5 since we haven't received one for nearly a year, so... Yeah. Anyway, without any further or less, I would like to continue talking more so. But it would be kind of boring, like, hearing me talk all of the time. Before I go... Thank you all so much for your support on the Light Justice series in general. It's really appreciated, and like Aaron's video has mentioned, we are beginning production on episode 1. We are almost done. We are so bloody close. We have, like, more things to do, and then after that, it will be most likely ready by March or April latest. Alright, anyway. Uh, besides that... I have a couple of new videos planned, but I will be mentioning those at the end of the video, like, of course, usual. Anyways, without any further said, let's get underway with this top 5, because this is where it gets interesting. Our number 5 spot, we have a villain that is able to damage, erase the head to the point where he got badly injured in Season 1, and slowly but surely recovered in Season 2. I'll tell you who he is at the end of the video. These villains. Heads up, we're fighting after all. Because I am. The world's symbol of peace and justice! You guys guessed it, on our number 5 spot we have Nomu. The reason being that we have Nomu on our number 5 spot is because that he was able to match up to All Might only to a certain extent due to his shock absorption ability as well as his tremendous strength. And then he was able to beat up Eraser Head to a certain point where he could not even move and then Midoriya nearly got killed by him too which was a huge surprise in Season 1 but didn't and failed miserably. Now, the letdown is that he was so easily being able to defeat by one for all from All Might, and then he was also then able to be captured by the police so quickly, which is why I placed him on my number 5 spot. Now, let's move on to number 4. Now, number 4 spot, we have somebody who helped Obito Uchiha wage the fourth Great Ninja War against the United Five Nations. Now, let's see what it is. I'll debrief you about this character at the end of the clip. Edo-tensei. <laughs> You guys guessed it, on our number 4 spot we have Kabuto Yakushi. Now the reason being that I placed him on my number 4 spot is because uh, he waged the 4th Great Ninja War with Obito in the Akatsuki and of course was able to revive Madara and all that. Now the downside of course is that he was easily beaten by Itachi and Sasuke but he didn't go down with a fight of course. And then he was also made a father to orphanage children when the 4th Great Ninja War was over. Which has let me as a big letdown because I, like, you don't get to see him fighting anymore. That's the downside about him. Anyway, besides that, that's why I placed him on my number 4 spot. Let's move on to number 3. On our number 3 spot we have a symbiote that is able to carry all of the symbiotes in one. From right all the way to scream and many more. Let's see who he is. I'll debrief him at the end of the clip. Cry 
says we need to help them out. We are going to seek revenge and then kill the person who messed with us. You guys guessed it, on our number 3 spot we have Hybrid. The reason being is because he has 5 powerful symbiotes, which is Phage, Scream, Riot, Lasher, and Agony. Those 5 together could probably cause the 5 Horsemen of Apocalypse. Just kidding, that was meant to be a metaphor. Regardless, he's a very powerful symbiote. Now, I know you guys are going to be saying, Oh, he's an anti-hero, but really, he's a villain because he wants revenge and for Scott that got shot. And got paralyzed and so he tried to find the person who shot him and eventually kill him which is why in my eyes in a sense I do find him as a villain so in that sense let's move on to our number two spot on our number two spot we have a Pokemon who possesses the power shadow but as well as his psychic abilities which makes pretty much a very bad and dangerous villain let's see who he is I'll debrief him at the end of the clip. You guys guessed it, on our number 2 spot we have Mew Shadow Mewtwo. The reason being that I put Shadow Mewtwo on our number 2 spot is because uh, he's very powerful in his shadow form and of course his abilities are quite the remarkable ones. Now the downside is though is that he takes damage to himself even if he uses his shadow form. So mostly if players would su suggest using the normal Mewtwo which is I would agree in a sense since that you know, recall damage is pretty shitty and all that in a really unique and bad way. So, you know, in a sense, he was basically the main villain of Pokémon Tournament. Now, let's move on to our number one spot. On our number one spot, we have a villain who wanted to try to make a better world but was blinded by shadows which ultimately made him look like the bad guy instead of being the hero let's see who he is i'll debrief him at the end of the clip no i can't stop them for long okay <laughs> mickey <sighs> huh. i said hands off how can you be moving? Oh, oh no, are you? Be gone. You guys guessed it. On our number one spot, we have young Xehanort, or should I say Master Xehanort. The reason being is because uh, he achieved the Keyblade, aka the X-Blade. Then he also killed Master Ericus, nearly killing Ventus by getting his dark half released and then also ultimately nearly creating the Keyblade that failed miserably Killing Kyrie and also just doing all the stuff including making Organization 13 in the most particular reason Now I know that he was trying to come from the right place in terms of making a better world for our heroes in the Kingdom Hearts universe but I think he was a little bit too crowded in the darkness, in a sense. And plus, he knew him way too much in regards to the future, possibly the past, and even more. Now, besides that, that's where I'm going to end the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this top 5, and this will be my return to YouTube also. So please like and subscribe for more videos like these ones, and also, please hit the notification bell because it helps me and my friend's channel grow. Leave comments on my channel if there's any improvements that I need to make towards it so that you guys are happy in regards to the changes. And besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I know for a fact that I love making them for you guys and I'm sure that the other guys like making them for you too. Now besides that, I am now going to end the video here. So have a great day as always. I am out. Peace.